Um, I didn't realize it was happening until like 20 minutes ago. And I was like, oh shit, I hope it's only an hour. I could totally stream that. So, I, uh, I have like an hour. If it's an hour, we're good. And I'll see the whole thing. If it's two hours, I can watch the first half. Blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying? I'm here for an hour, roughly. Maybe a little bit longer. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch this. And if it goes past four, I'm going to have to just end stream and run out the door because I work at 4.30. But if it's only an hour, I should be good to watch the whole thing. Um, now, I'm just trying to think here. What do I want from Ubisoft? Because Ubisoft is... Uh, oh, I, you guys can't see. Not that it matters. There's nothing going on. I'll turn on the volume, though. How loud? Holy shit. Okay. Turn that pretty low. Um, what do I want from Ubisoft? Let's talk about that. Um, free show. Wow. Cool. Um, so, Ubisoft. They do some cool shit, but what I really want is Mario and Rabbids 2. Right? Like, right? That's really what I want. I would love to just fucking have it be Mario and Rabbids 2, 3, and 4 all confirmed at Ubisoft conference. That's really what I want. But, um, real talk though. Oh shit, Ubisoft is brought Hall? Huh. Um, I don't know what I want. Ubisoft is weird. It's one of those weird companies where... I don't remember. Oh, shit. They do Siege. What do I want? I don't know. I don't play... <laughs> I don't know. Um... Yeah, I don't know what I want from Ubisoft. There's a... Uh... I don't know. They're one of those weird companies where I don't really remember what games they make. They just kind of have them, and I play them once in a while. It'd be sick to get For Honor 2 or something like that, though. For Honor was fucking awesome. I never played it on stream, but For Honor is such a fun game. What is this? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Ubisoft, as a company, is really cool. I, I'm pretty sure they do Just Dance, right? So I'm sure we'll see that. Um. Oh. Do they do... Oh. Oh. She is playing two guitars, one with her feet. That's fucking insane. I'm just trying to think what else they um what else they do, but I can't fucking remember. They're weird. Ubisoft is weird. I'm gonna turn up the volume now. And let's uh Alright guys, it is time for us to wrap up this pre-show. Yeah, Don't that's... forget to stay tuned for our post show featuring a deep dive into the world of Assassin's Creed okay. Valhalla. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Oh, show Assassin's Creed. Software. We're totally going to see some Assassin's Creed stuff. Hopefully gameplay, but I doubt it. Let's do it, Ubisoft. Do something good and not bad. That'd be hype. Start off with something good. This is Ubisoft. This is Ubisoft. Right. Explore our world. Meet the devs. What are they doing? Join us. Oh, that's just their show's name. Never mind. I thought they were like release a Hi everyone, thing like I'm Steam, Neil Kumar, and but... I'm very excited to be co Oh, they already have that. But it's terrible. With the talented Maybe Yusuf Magid. Today's show is all about getting up close and in depth with all the exciting games we have in production here at Ubisoft. Okay, so they have like three games that get super no in depth with them. So let's hit straight for the streets of futuristic London. 
Let's see what the hackers of Dead Sec are getting into. Dead Sec? What game is that? The illegal painting spreading subversive and hostile messaging over the last few weeks across London are not the work of several people as was originally believed, but the work of an individual. The criminal suspected to have links with the terrorist group of Dead Sec. Oh, it's watchdogs. Okay. Authorities recommend not to approach the individual. I never played Watch Dogs 2. First, they came for the foreigners, and I did not speak out because I was not a foreigner. Then they came for the protesters. And I did not speak out because I was not a protester. Then they came for the journalists. And I did not speak out because I was not a journalist. Street artists. But I did not speak out because I am not a street artist. What is this fucking trailer? It's kind of cool. I don't necessarily hate it. Oh, it's a chick. <laughs> Where are we off to, sir? Holy shit. That doesn't- that's not a bad trailer. I'm okay with that. to the resistance. Here's a welcome gift for our new member. You could have told me it was a bloody costume party. <laughs> Try it on. The new key suspect has been identified as David Ford, a 43-year-old London taxi driver. He has no criminal record but is currently believed to be a terrorist. People have been asked not to approach him. The authorities advise... Oh, jeez. I don't know. Wait, are you supposed to have film? Wait, this is not a game? I'm Clint Hawking. Clint has been a longtime creative force here at Ubisoft, and now he's bringing this vision to Watch Dogs Legion. Um, so yeah, what we just saw was an amazing short film by the director Alberto oh, Mielgo short film. that uh, right. was inspired by Watch Dogs Legion and looks at, at the game and the universe and the characters through his incredible uh, artistic vision. So that wasn't a trailer style. for their game. That's City less fun. needs a resistance. Like the film, Watch Dogs Legion tells the story of ordinary heroes setting aside their differences in order to come together as a collective and to fight for a positive change. You can literally recruit and play anyone who you see in the open world. You profile people that are interesting to you, you help them with their problem, you play their origin mission. Just help me get some closure and I'll do whatever you want. Sounds like a dead sec problem. 
leave it to us. And that's how you recruit them into your team. And then they become the heroes of the game and, and the stars of your story. That's what are you cool. doing in my flat? You with Albion? Please, think more underground. You with Albion? I'm tickled, but think more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. And they make the story not only, you know, unique that's to them, cool. but unique to you as the player and, and personal to you because they're, you know, heroes Old lady best characters. What would I say to fans? I guess I'd say, you know, uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Welcome to the resistance. Ah, London town. A modern metropolis. Built on history and prosperity. Well, the short film was cool, Only took but like... thousand years to build it up. And one night to tear it all down. Oh my god. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. With London under attack by a mysterious terrorist, the government turns to a private military company called Albion to keep everyone safe. Oh what good. Could possibly go wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Cass. Let's CEO privatize the military. He's because that always goes well. Establish order. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize this. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Nigel's Looks not like the only it. opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. Meet Mary Kelly, head of the most powerful crime syndicate in London. Be sure ah. and spread the word. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything from party pills to people. Oh. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? You made me a slave. You do not want to ruffle her feathers. I see. With the city out on its ass, it now falls on you to build a resistance and take back London. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. Any of the brave Londoners you see walking the streets can be recruited into your team. That's fucking awesome, though. That's like a cool him. concept. Her. Or even her. <laughs> everyone could become your next city. It just... <laughs> Just don't mission, fuck it up. We need to get some dirt on Nigel Cass. Just and don't fuck it up. And that means breaking into Albion headquarters inside the Tower of London. All the hardy souls you see here are people we have recruited from the streets of London. They all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission with whoever oh. you like. Dear God, my eyes. Mike Lee. Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Like everyone in DedSec, Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. But as a construction worker, he has a particular set of tools that make him handy. I see. He can even call his own cargo drone. Yo, what? Perfect for yeah, that is kind of cool. When you're not invited. And who needs a regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun? Okay, it looks it looks pretty good. I might actually play this game. I never played Watch Dogs 2, but Jesus Christ, what is that thing? It looks good. Perhaps we could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. Amy okay. is a drone expert. What have we here? A real tech connoisseur. Hate spiders, but love this one. What an adorable creepy crawler. Here we are. That's it's fucking awesome. Up. Okay. A drone this game does, does look have really a cool. unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. I'm reading incoming drones. Hack the drone. She can also hack enemy drones, yeah. turning the tide in her favor. And if you are not into direct confrontation, there are more ways than one to get the job done.
Oh. Recruiting an Albion officer like Brielle here might be challenging, but it'll get you inside restricted Albion areas. Don't mind me, just doing recon for a bunch of insurgents. However, do anything suspicious and she'll probably wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. You've been approved for entry. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. This is so <laughs> badass. Okay. This game is going to be sick. Or, I really hope it is. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and putting a stop to it. That's good. The buyers expect high quality stuff. And we need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bags, don't disturb me in my natural habitat. Say hello to Mickey. The man lives for his team. I put another air on my chest. And doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. <laughs> Mickey best character. Bah. Now, that's so cool though. You play as literally fucking anybody. He does have a slight drinking problem though. And he's passed out. Ah, oh, well, we'll come back to him. <laughs> you know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. It's almost crass to call him a hitman. I might even call him an very artist. interested. Game looks badass. I, li I have nothing else to say about it. It just it looks so Here's cool. Here's the bastard responsible. <sighs> Done and dusted. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Not everyone in London is a legendary assassin or a super spy, but everyone can be a hero. So get out there, find the best Ooh. recruits, and build your resistance. It's time to take back London. October 29th? That's not even that far off. Plunging the player into a living, breathing city, teeming with unique locales and characters, That's has cool. always been a central pillar of the Watch Dogs series. So what goes into building those worlds? Here's Amanda Mutt to tell us more. My name's Amanda Mutt. I'm a level artist on Watch Dogs Legion at Ubisoft Toronto. Being a level artist, I think, is the coolest job in video games because we do get the freedom to, to kind of like pick and choose what little details we want to depict. And we get ample opportunities to tell the stories that we want to tell in the spaces that we're assigned to. I have the capacity to hide things and, you know, like small little Easter eggs. In AC Unity, there was a boat somewhere in the world that was covered in cats. And then it happened again in Watch Dogs 2. And there may or may not be something in London that is a boat <laughs> filled with cats in some capacity. So. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to go to E3 last year. Some of the people that I was showing our demo to were from London. So no matter where I dropped them in the city, they would go, oh my God, this feels like Camden. This, you know, this feels like Southern. This feels like Westminster. When people are talking about some detail that I've put into the world and they're excited about it, like that feels so good as somebody who, you know, builds these worlds with care. I love it. <laughs> cool. Next game? Question mark? Or are we gonna stick? They're really okay. Brawlhalla. And now some news for Brawlhalla fans. 
In just a few weeks, you'll be able to battle it out with your favorite legends on iOS and Android devices. Oh, Rahala on phone, Ubisoft. That's kind of neat. But is it cross-platform? Three, two, one, brawl! Oh, cool. Okay, so you can literally make your controls anyway. Crossplay with anyone. Good. That's cool. Hopefully that ends up working out really nice. August 6th. Okay, that's like a month from now? Yeah. And now, Not even. whether you need a Tom Clancy action fix on the go, I want to dive back into uh -oh. one of the most beloved fantasy franchises in gaming. We've got you covered. But it's just phone games. Ubisoft, I don't care about your phone games. I don't care. That's so cool. Wow. Ubisoft, give me Mario and Rabbids 2. Hey, can we get Just Dance out of the way too? While we're uh, while we're at it. While we're getting the phone games out of the way too. Let's uh Let's go straight into Just Dance. The target is being held on the ground floor. Go, go, go. Is this a rainbow game for your phone? I think this is a rainbow game for your phone. Unless I'm an idiot, but... That's what it looked like to me. Contact! Moat chain is down. Request air support. Target northeast rooftop. Roger. Inbound. Danger close. I need an EMP deployed now. EMP imminent. In your cell. Oh, never mind. That's Tom Clancy. But I thought that was the chick hey, from Rainbow. I'm confused. Don't make me regret this. What is this? Tom Clancy's Elite Squad. But like. It looked like the character from Rainbow. I, I, I haven't played Siege enough. Speaking of Tom but... Fancy, it's been five years since Rainbow Six Siege first launched, and Wait. the community has never been stronger. In Is it the same of this game? Ubisoft Montreal has put together a special video to thank all of the amazing players Wait, what? and developers since that when have helped I'm... Siege become the game it is today. I don't know Ubisoft stuff. At all. In December 2015, a small team released Rainbow Six Siege. A game built on a strong vision. Creativity, competitiveness, and team play. For the player, the 1st of December is a début, but for us too. We have to engage and say to the player, this game is installed, you can also install it, and we will be there. That original uh -huh. vision was quickly adopted by our passionate community, propelling it to a whole new level. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got it! I got it! This is such a special moment, and being at 
one year anniversary of Rainbow Six now, game being uh, stronger than ever, uh, more players today than we had in the past, it means uh, the world to us. But we also had our share of challenges. Um, health that touches upon subject like matchmaking, connectivity, all those aspects are absolutely critical to the experience of the player. Through it all, we're always driven by you, our community, and together, we I grow I feel like stronger. Rainbow Six is, or like, you know, that team or whatever, there is are no really good about we're community stuff. We're here for the next stuff. 10 years, so expect more Rainbow Six in your life for quite some time. Les succès, c'est vraiment le résultat de autant de nous que de vous. Ce jeu, il est autant le vôtre qu'il est le nôtre, nous, l'équipe de développement. Now 60 million players strong. We're oh, just getting started. <laughs> From the devs that build the game to the community that plays it, thank you. If you haven't tried it yet, but... dive into our new Operation Steel Wave update available now and maybe, take Ace maybe and Maybe I out for a spin. I don't know. A few days happens. ago, we introduced y'all to a brand new multiplayer shooter. Now, it's time to venture into the hyperscape. Oh shit, yeah, this is the BR, right? I guess I'll gameplay of this. I totally did. This game looks fucking fun. Hyperscape. That's not supposed to be there. Let me get you all up to speed, okay? About 30 years ago, everything that we feared about our future started to come true. We made some good decisions. We made some bad decisions. Actually, uh -huh. we made a lot of bad decisions. So, here we are. Ten billion souls living in the crush of the megacities. But the people at Prisma oh. changed everything. It was like a lot more stuff than... They gave everyone a way out. The it's like Ready game. Player One. In the hyperscape, it's literally Ready Player One. By far is Crown Rush. This is where anyone can become someone. All this for a battle royale game. Like, holy shit. Ow. If you get good at Crown Rush, it can change your life. But strange things have been happening lately. Rumors of people getting hurt. Users disappearing from the real world. What? A darker secret lies at the heart of Hyperscape. And Big Easter egg energy. Some of us are searching for. So is it a way not out. just a battle royale game, or is Some it a? Some of us for a way out. And for others, a new way all together. That's what brings us to the edge of the future. To the hyperscape. I, I thought it was just a battle royale, but maybe it's not just a... I'm JC, creative director on hyperscape. JC's work on Far Cry Primal and multiple Prince of Persia titles has established him as a top creative here at Ubisoft. For me, what's exciting is uh, we started uh, building it from scratch, uh, seeing it grow, uh, adding ideas is really cool. Hello, contender. Welcome to the hyperscape. The game takes place in 2054. It's in a future where humanity has grown a little darker. 
one of the, the companies there, they are launching what's called the hyperscape, which is the virtual world, the internet of the future. It's the place where everything converges. Okay. Within the virtual world, there is a battle royale that takes place in the virtual city of Neo Arcadia. So it's all this for a battle royale game. Then we also introduce a lot of new things. You get the opportunity to do parkour on the rooftops, to go into interiors where it's much more narrow, much more stressful. Uh, you get to go to the landmarks where there's more uh, opportunities to get cool items, but also more players, so it's a risk-reward kind of deal. It's a battle royale game, thank you. We introduce the notion of hacks, special abilities that you can pick up on the fly to adapt your tactics. With oh. hacks, you can do things like uh, teleport yourself, uh, you can wrap yourself into a ball and uh, bounce around the battlefield. <laughs> So okay. A lot of abilities well, that lets you have cool. fun, that are toys that you can play with. And finally, it's made as a spectacle, so all the viewers will be able to interact with the game on different levels through the Twitch extension. So every few minutes, there's going to be a vote, and viewers will be able to decide what effect they want to affect the whole battle. So things like changing the gravity, uh, infinite ammo, or stuff like that. So players, while this happens, really have to adapt to all kinds of stuff that is happening. Oh. So for me, it's really exciting because right now, as we speak, we are launching the open beta, and so it's going to be available for uh, free to play for all PC players worldwide. And I really want to thank all the uh, players, all the streamers, and all the viewers who participated in Tech Test and uh, who will participate in the open beta. Here's a short glimpse of what you can expect. That's cool. I don't hate it. But, like, it is just a battle royale, though, right? I'm, like, almost positive. That's... Watch and learn how it's done. Yes. Okay. It's just a battle royale. But it looks like a decent one. Showtime. And it's free open beta, so I might as well play it at some point. Let's show them what I made of. But go time. Watch closely. Here we go. Weapon new hack, free battle pass, play the PC open beta now. Cool. I play. The digital world of the hyperscape gave our artists and developers incredible freedom when it came to designing characters. Production manager Anna Maria Muska is going to take us behind the scenes play. of character design. Very soon. My name is Anna Maria Muska. I'm the production manager for characters and weapons on Hyperscape. Good. Make we cool have paid skins. An exceptional amount of detail to our characters. Make we switch good different skins. outfits, different fashion statements, different tattoos, different materials good. until we see them as real individuals as real people so the second you pick a character a bit, you see them in really. game you understand what their motivations are and what drives them and what challenges them this was the first lineup of characters this is our default base but even starting from the hair down everything has been meticulously thought of would this person actually like this type of outfit would this person enjoy the type of tattoos that we're putting on them will they actually like to be in this body each season, we plan to produce new outfits for these characters. So okay. we're hoping some of our players are going to see the effort and maybe even correlate some of the accessories to what's going to happen in the game. We're very excited to see it in people's hands. I don't hate the idea of it. As we move into the next generation of gaming, Ubisoft has been working closely with console makers to take advantage of all the extraordinary capabilities these new consoles will offer. Now we have a special guest to tell us a little more. Hey everyone, Phil Spencer from Xbox. With Watch Dogs Legion, uh -oh. Ubisoft is supporting smart delivery. So you will get the absolute best version of the game on any version of Xbox you're playing on. On Series X, you'll get to take advantage of the amazing work the team has done with DirectX ray tracing 
to create an absolutely immersive version of Why are his eyes like, like closed the entire before. time? He's just blinking a lot. Ubisoft has a unique ability to create that immersive worlds. Like setting a new like... bar that continues to drive our industry forward. That's cool, but... I'm a huge fan of I... Assassin's Creed. I love the I don't time think I'm I've buying spent the giant exploring mini the world in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I can't wait for you to see the gameplay like, I'm just throwing that out there, Creed sir. Valhalla that's coming up now. Kind of, kind of just like, All right. not I know you've been waiting to hear more about this game since it was announced Assassin's back in Creed. April. Yeah, show me and some Assassin's Creed. And now it's time Creed. for a deep dive into the world of Vikings. Please. My name is Julien Laferriere, and I'm the producer of Assassin's <laughs> what? Creed Valhalla. What? Can you put that so somewhere on screen? A couple of weeks screen? ago, we announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and the reaction from the fans ah, was just yes. amazing. The time period of Vikings I can't is that, but really, at least I got really to see inspiring. It when we did our research, we found that, you know, there were not mindless barbarians. Vikings were actually farmers trying to find new lands for them to settle. And so they had really human motivations. So for us to have this opportunity to tell kind of the real story about Vikings and kind of separate ourselves from the <laughs> myths and the folklore. Assassin's is really Creed is going to tell us a us real to story, guys. You the excited? Team went to Norway and England to take the same roads that the Vikings did. Oh, shit. To really experience what it meant to be a Viking at that time. <laughs> and then leaving Norway, which is <laughs> barren but majestic, and just coming by boat in England and see those rolling green hills full of sheep, full of life. It's just this moment that most likely the Vikings felt as well. You need to see this land of opportunity. And this is exactly the feeling we want players to experience in this game. Uh, I see. So it's like, fuck, our it land is sucks. A personal adventure. You know, it is the story of Eivor, a Viking chieftain. Eivor is uh, either Assassin's a male Creed, or a female. Though, so. You decide when you start the game. Oh. They will have to leave Norway to settle in England because you just can't live in Norway anymore. There's too much political pressure, no resources available. I see. You can be man in or England, woman. It's full of Anglo Saxons and other people, and they don't really want you there. So you will have to fight your way there to kind of build your own settlement and see your clan prosper. Vikings were brutal warriors. Shield! And the fact that they were mastering a lot of weapons coming from the medieval times really inspired us to kind of revamp the fight system. To leverage the brutality and the intensity of Viking combat. This is kind of cool, I guess. Vikings were not only fighting face to face. They were masters of I told you Ubisoft only have like four or five needed. games though. They used basically <laughs> any sort of tactics they could use to win the battle. So we want to portray them. the full range of combat that you can imagine coming from the Vikings. But of course... We are very happy to finally be able to show you the game we've all been working on. So please... Enjoy Ooh, this gameplay? deep dive gameplay? into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Gameplay. In-game footage. Work in progress. I'm interested. Show me some gameplay. Yo. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, as soon as the we will relive the epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway who will lead his or her battle-hardened warriors across the North Sea to the British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal, to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. England is a dark age tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties, a land of opportunity and riches. As you prowl England's rivers by longship, you may raid locations you spot from the shoreline. Oh. Ground your ship and blow your horn to lead your raiding crew into battle. That's kind of awesome. 
I wanna fucking raid England. Let's fucking go. Cool. Okay, so you can like raise your boys. Assist you in all your raids, fighting enemies, battering down doors, and stealing cargo too heavy for one set of arms. Whatever riches and resources you pillage may be used to develop your settlement, giving oh. you access to useful services, better tools, and new settlers. At the heart of your settlement is the Alliance map. It will serve as a record of the allies you have made and a guide for future opportunities. The Viking Age was a time of warriors and legends. In Valhalla, you will find the largest variety of enemies ever assembled in an Assassin's Creed game. Nice. This game looks like it'll if be fucking fun. Offers a unique challenge. Some will coordinate with their allies for special attacks, while others will use nearby objects to their advantage, including the bodies of fallen warriors. Yeah. To face these attacks, you must find and exploit your opponent's weaknesses to gain the upper hand. Take the fight to your foes with a host of brutal new combat abilities. Snare them with a the Viking harpoon. Yo, Pummel Viking them with harpoon. Axes. Okay. Incapacitate them this with the new sick. stun system to keep them at a distance. Uh oh. Or finish them off. I hope stun system is a bro. Oh, XP. Any two weapons you wish to unleash a deadly combination of attacks. Okay, so it's like the last Assassin's Creed game where you can level up and shit. Customize I your see. fighting style as you see fit. And well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Viking I think that game was really good. I never played it, but. All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. Two shields? Why would you want to do that? I guess that they're just showing that you can do whatever, Not but... all situations call for violence. In this new land, a Viking must find a way to adapt. As Eivor is not welcome in England, you may need to outsmart your enemies. Avoiding unwanted attention in towns and bustling cities. Use Eivor's hood and cloak to blend with crowds and slip past watchful eyes. An unseen hunter among the people. Oh. From capital cities and villages kind of awesome. to the dense forests and rolling hills of England, exploration is vital to keeping yourself sharp. You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. Hunt and forage to replenish your health and fortify your equipment. Search pagan temples and Roman ruins for new activities and challenges to strengthen yourself and your settlement. This looks badass! The more you explore, the more of England's secrets you will reveal. But as you push deeper into England, the enemy will push back. In a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will feature massive assaults in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle against heavily guarded Saxon fortresses. Today we will reclaim her. Today we fight for your land. And tomorrow we rebuild. For Easter. For Easter. For Easter. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse myths and England's pagan roots. It will cool. challenge and surprise Thank you, with unforgettable characters, thrilling triumphs, and tragic losses, giving you the chance to live your own Viking saga. Cool. Looks fun. November 17th? That's pretty soon. Ninth century England is truly unlike anything the franchise has seen before. Assassin's Creed Valhalla were released this holiday season on Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Holy Stadium. shit.
We're close to when does PS5 today, come out go, then? Our CEO, Eve Gimo, is here it's gotta to be soon. When are they going to announce the price? <laughs> I hope you oh. will have enjoyed what you have seen today and that you will love playing these games. I'm proud of our teams for delivering an ambitious, broad, I see rabbits and creative in the back. lineup of Sir, games. sir, there's rabbits in the and back. And we haven't shown you everything yet. In fact, we have a lot more to come. Right, right. Right. So you will have Mario and another Rabbids Ubisoft too. forward to reveal even more about our upcoming games. There's, there's rabbits in the background. ending this show, we have one more thing to share with you. Mr. Miyamoto, please uh, elaborate. Right now, what is this? <laughs> I want Mario and Rabbids too, so bad. What is this? Is this a movie? Is this actually a movie? Ubisoft making movies now? No. What is this? What are you- what? Just- What is this? Do I care about it? It's like hyping it up a tiny bit and it's not going to be worth it. I almost want to say like Tropico, but that doesn't make any sense. What the fuck am I watching? Oh, Far Cry 6. I see. Somebody just creamed their pants, but I don't care. I haven't really played Far Cry 6. Or Far Cry at all. But... Show me the game. Maybe I'm interested. something for you here. Give me your hands. Papa. Now, the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? With the fucking grenade? Dude, this no. guy's a dickhead. I don't know who he is, but I hate him. I am El Presidente. Which means that someday, you will be El Presidente. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. They are torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. Oh, I see. Oh, is he gonna have his son throw the grenade into like a crowd of protesters? Even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves. This doesn't remind me of any of the other Far Cry. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. They 
blaster you with screams. I call you evil. A monster. And give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Oh, come on. What? Fuck you. Show me what happens. That's not cool. 218, 21. And with that, we're wrapping up our first Ubisoft forward. I uh, fuck that, man. That was Today, boring. It was like four games. Of Assassin's Creed, the birth of a resistance in Watch Dogs Legion. The cyber chaos of hyperscape. We got a battle royale and, an epic and three AAA of titles. Newest installment, along with so much more. Remember, we'll be back later this year with another Ubisoft Forward filled with tons of game news and updates. Thanks for joining us. Wow, Ubisoft got three games going on. Hello? <laughs> no, it's gonna be more gameplay. <laughs> What does Twitch chat have to say about hey everyone, it? everyone, welcome to the Ubisoft Forward post show. My That's name is all. Indeed, and this nice is Watch Dogs 2. Valhalla. No we're drop. Take a deep drop. Dive drop. No drop. No drop. And we're joined by Leaked. a very special guest Love here. Love no drops. Hey everyone, uh, this is Philip Belzeron, um, uh, otherwise known as Fizz. I am the quest director yeah. on Assassin's Creed. Why no Street Rain Man? So Fizz, we're setting yeah. up here for everybody's like pick. Encounter. Everybody's mad. Yeah, so here we're midway through the, uh, the quest DLC that we're for showing uh, for you before. Drops tomorrow. Here we're looking okay. at the assault of Berk. That's crazy. Wow. I'm so surprised that there is nothing that crazy in there. Really, I am. I have to go to work soon. So thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I had fun. Uh, hopefully I see you soon. Um, let's say Sunday. I work tomorrow. And then, uh, Tuesday. I'll see you Tuesday. Chat room. I'll see you Tuesday. Anyways, have a good night. Thank you. Bye.